Let's go. Your health is still strong, baby. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Here we are. I'm gonna go to Farana Cone Cave. It's about an hour drive uh, from Hoi Hin and it should be a, a beautiful ride. Okay, so I just got into the the cave, the uh, the national park, and I was in the entrance uh, just down there. I had my mask on, and the price for Thai citizens are 40 baht. And she asked me in Thai, "Am I am I Thai?" And you know, with my little bit of Thai, I said yes. And then she said, "Show me your ID." I said, "I don't have." And she said, I need to pay 200 baht. So there's dual pricing here in Thailand for foreigners or Thai people. And I thought if I could wear my mask, I can, and I can just give my 40 baht for the admission. Nope. Uh, that I can get in, but sadly mistaken. Okay, another thing worth uh, mentioning is that you can take a boat for 200 baht to get to the cave. And as you can see, down there, they're waiting for people. And uh, I guess it wraps around because I'm going this path here, over here. But you can see, look at these. And then you have this very narrow strip of flat concrete. And then here is just ragged, jaggedy edges, you know. Okay, so I just got done with this little piece over here and then I will be headed to the cave down there, but you have to cue the music because... That's right, your health is still strong, baby. That's what it is. So I decided to venture off a little bit and I will show you this beautiful view. I mean, who doesn't want to venture off before to see this? You have a beautiful beach right next to the cave. We have the Faraya Nakon Cave Natural Trail. And then we have the map here. The viewpoint cave, 625 meters. So it will be about 625 meters. So it's 430 meters, but you gotta climb up these. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick maths. I was mistaken. 430 meters. So anyone with medical conditions, please consider your ability before you enter. Okay, let's go up these steps. Hope it's not too steep. It's pretty steep. Catching my breath. And it's not too high. I'm talking about the elevation or the uh, the altitude. So that shortness of breath 
is just from climbing these steps. You could take the nature trail. It's steep. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but yeah, it's pretty steep, uneven, and uh, at least I got some sneakers on. Raya Nakon Cave was named after the former ruler who discovered it over 200 years ago. He was seeking shelter from the storm. The Raya Nakon Cave is the big limestone cave made up of three caverns and two of them which have skylights, which is the highlight as you can see. And these skylights are actually sinkholes because of the rooters of nature. And then some trees have taken roots in the caverns below the skylight, adding to the enhanced or enchanted look of the caves. And uh, yeah, we are at Daya Nakon Cave. We're gonna go, before we go inside, I need to, we need to see how sweaty I am because it's been up and down, left and right, and everything is just all about. But it's gonna be worth it. Let's go. So I'm at the entrance and we're gonna walk in to the cave. Steep, Got some steep steps here. Yeah, I'm trying to record and walk down these steps. I'm trying to be careful. Oh my God, that is beautiful. to show you guys. There's another sinkhole here. I'm in the main area and you see the temple behind me you have the uh, sinkhole I'll show you in a little bit here I guess the, uh, the skylight and it shows that beams right onto the temple it's very beautiful here I'm gonna show you around we got the sinkhole here Right on to the temple. 
Okay, let's keep walking. I'm gonna go up top this hill here and show you the view from over there. Man, I only had two bananas and a protein shake for breakfast. I'm starving Marvin now. I need to eat something after this. And I gotta go back down, as you can see. So, walked from over there to here and came out top here. And you can see how naturally beautiful and marvelous this place is.